Hello everybody, uh, if you watched my last video, you'll notice I said two things. One, that I was going to be filming a new spot, and two, flash review is coming soon. Kept one of those promises. I haven't filmed in that room yet anything. I wanted to wait until the mid-season finale to talk about this show, and the mid-season finale was on yesterday, so let's talk about it. <laughs> Flash. It's a brand new 2014 show done by the same producers of Arrow and even some of the same directors. Um, and uh, it's not a remake of anything, if you're wondering, because uh, there was a 90s show that I like to watch. It's cheesy. I don't care. I like it. Uh, but no, no connection to that. This is its own thing along with being tied in the new Arrowverse, which is just the DC television universe. Basically, the story here is that Barry Allen saw his mother get murdered when he was 11 years old by this man in a yellow suit and the, like a bolt of lightning. And if you're a comic book fan, you know exactly what that is. But if you're not, you're still hooked because you're like, what? But anyway, he grows up. He's this nerdy and uh, likable guy. He's just kind of awkward. He's got some problems in his life. Like he, his dad's in prison and he's really upset about that. He's been trying to find out this murder, but he stays optimistic like the Barry Allen he is in the comics and he keeps going and becomes a forensic scientist. So basically, uh, meanwhile, Harrison Wells and Caitlin Snow and Cisco Ramon, they're these three scientists that are making this particle accelerator thing. It's gonna make like all this great energy. Well, it goes wrong in a lightning storm and the particle accelerator gives off energy, dark energy. Barry Allen gets hit with the lightning struck and he becomes the Flash. Off the bat, I was hooked into this show because the show, the first episode, has such great pacing, but it also gives you plenty of character development in the beginning of an awesome story that unfolds, that has been unfolding for nine episodes now that I am just completely hooked on. Thing about this show, you don't, you don't want to miss one episode because you feel like you're gonna miss something that's a really cool. And they deliver. The producers have delivered with The Flash. I completely love this show. I completely adore it. This is an excellent show. The casting is just pretty much perfect. Grant Gustin is the perfect Barry Allen. He's awkward, he's funny, he's entertaining to watch, and he's just really likable, which is the Barry Allen that we all know and love. Jesse L. Martin and Tom Cavanaugh are two actors that I've liked to watch over the years. Um, the few years that I have been alive compared to some others. <laughs> um, yeah, Jesse L. Martin as the father figure is excellent. And Tom Cavanaugh as Harrison Wells, who is a really interesting character. They both do an excellent job. Uh, Carlos Val Valdez, I don't remember the last name, and Daniel Panabaker are great as Barry's sidekicks, I guess you can say. Cisco Ramon and Caitlin Snow, as I was talking about earlier. Excellent as well. Uh, Candace Patton, who is the sister, I think, of the uh, chick from, a, or female, whatever, woman from Mission Impossible goes protocol on a wise I mean, three times to say. Yeah, she does her job well. Iris isn't that interesting yet. But we'll, we'll get to it later. And then Rick Cosnett plays Eddie Thawne. Does that name sound familiar to you Flash fans out there? And he's uh, the, uh, Jesse L. Martin's partner. And just this whole cast is excellent. Everyone does a great job. The action sequences are really, really good, especially for television. Like, if you remember Smallville, it's pretty cheap effects. But these look really good. Um, and I think the, the, a lot of that has to do with Arrow being successful. You know, they could bring in another Flash or another TV show, and they got the budget for that. So I'm really happy about that because we get some really cool action sequences. Another thing I like about them is how they incorporate science in everything, so it's more convincing. Despite the fact that the show is still about the Flash, who's not exactly realistic, I mean, they still find a good way to basically get you to believe what's going on here by using scientific facts and everything. Also, really suspenseful, very well put together. Also, the heart. I mean, if you get past some of the issues, which are really small in the first couple episodes, it's the heart that really brings you there, the character development. It's just 
perfect, basically. Like, if Barry Allen wasn't the Flash and he was just a forensic scientist dealing with the personal problems, I'd still probably watch the show. That's not something I can say about Arrow. Um, but here, yeah, the emotional core just brings it that much further. And John Wesley's ship plays his dad. How awesome is that? The original Flash playing the dad. Something I had a problem with was that a lot of the metahumans in the first three episodes of all of them that were there, they were just like bland generic films, which was okay. It didn't bother me that much because I knew they just wanted to progress the story of Barry Allen, but also give them something to fight. But you know, it's like, eh, they were just kind of had the same simple motivations and everything. Um, but in episode four, we get Captain Cold, played by Wentworth Miller. Perfect casting, awesome villain, shit's gonna get real later when he returns and everything and uh and then in episode five they also establish that not all the metahumans except barry are bad which is something I'm like really did the rest of them just so happen to be evil and he just has to fight all of them no there are some good ones out there too which was awesome the producers are getting everything right with this show because um after those first three episodes we only had one more or two more episodes with villains that were just like had the same old motivations and those were definitely the weakest episodes but that was okay because what we got after that was the flash versus arrow and it was awesome these producers are giving us so much fan service with these two shows now it's ridiculous and if you're just a regular fan it's still awesome to watch and now that the show's main story has now just gotten like into into action in episode 9 the mid-season finale I cannot wait for January 21st, was it, for the show to return, because this first half got me hooked, and now knowing what's happening in the future is just making me all the more hooked. I totally recommend watching The Flash, and if you haven't seen Arrow yet, I would recommend checking that out too, because it gives you some insight on everything that's going on. This show is excellent. I may like it even more than Arrow, depending on how the first season ties together and everything. So yeah, I'm going to give The Flash an A. So thank you for watching everybody and if you like this video you can click down more or <laughs> click there <laughs> click down below <laughs> I can't speak today click down below and see some more videos rate comment and subscribe so long and I really do need to get an open or like a closing for these videos I really need that makes it less generic